Well, here it is, a new project that we're gonna be working on. It has something wrong with the motor. So we're probably gonna pull it out. This is a M10972, I believe. A1, one of those. Crew carrier, heavy duty variant. Even got the matching trailer for it over there. Probably gonna try to find some canopies for it. Um, this is gonna be a fun project. It's a 2010 model. So it's actually fairly new. You have the uh, plate here. And it's, it's not bad, ouch. So, cool. Hey guys, today we're gonna be working on a Humvee that I got. We're gonna be pulling the motor out of it. We already got the hood off, just two pins. I can, uh, I'll show you why we got the motor, or we're, excuse me, we're pulling the motor out, it is inside the oil pan here. Some, uh, some nice parts sitting in the bottom. So we're going to pull it out and see what we can get fixed on it. All right, we got the radiator out. Discovered some stuff. The uh, there's some hose here on the fan fan that uh, connects to the oil or oil maybe transmission fluid. I don't remember. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's pretty. So there's a lot of room in that front. You can see the. Uh, Front pumpkin and the the brakes there, but uh, yeah, there's the radiator, oil cooler, transmission cooler, and we'll continue on. Alright, I've been working on disconnecting wires and cables and and stuff like that. I'll show you what we're kind of dealing with underneath here. Ugh. So, uh, the oil pan's already off. So if we look pretty close here, we can see the... Uh, um, the uh, crank is pretty 
scarred up there from that one uh, missing. Oops, got oil in my hair. So you can see uh, just in there, the remaining part of the piston and rod there. Not sure if there's any damage to uh, the block, but we'll see. Since we have the oil pan off, it'll be pretty easy to get to the torque converter bolts. Oh. But, uh, yeah, we can spin it, so. But, um, yeah, you can see what's left of the rod there, so. We are getting it done. coated myself in a good diesel all down my arm, my back, both arms, so that was uh, fun. I thought about just doing it with vice grips, but I thought a bolt would be better. So anyways, dirty job. So we got the motor out now, turned on its side. You can see just how much room there is now. And we can get a better look of what's all going on in here. So I'm gonna probably pull the crank, um, try to leave the pistons in there. Um, I'll have to take the front of the motor off. And um, we're gonna probably either try to have this crank just resurfaced or re uh, redone. Or maybe a new crank and new rod. But you can see in there the rod, the piston. So that is next on the list.